guys, welcome back to Brit's Book Corner. Today's video is going to be my April goals. First, before I can get into my monthly goals, I feel like I need to touch base on my yearly goal that I set for myself, which was reading 50 books in the year 2020. And originally, I thought that that was going to be a big goal because A, I've never kept track of how many books I've read in a year, and B, I just thought because if I was putting pressure on myself, I wouldn't actually reach that goal. And I've shocked myself, you guys. I've shocked myself because I've read 37 or 38 books in, Mar uh, not March, but in the year 2020. And in just March alone, being March 17th, I've read about 18 books in March already. So that tells you, like, I have just done a lot of reading and I was nowhere near, like, anywhere near guessing that I was going to read this many books already in the year. So basically what I'm getting at is I'm upping my goal to 75. Um, adding an extra 25, I don't want to add another, like, I don't want to go to 100 books because I don't want to put the pressure on myself at the end of the year to get through so many extra books. I'm just going to keep upping my goal a little at a time as I go through the year, as I get closer and closer to that goal, um, and just see where it goes. Because at the beginning of the year, in January, when I read 10 books, I told myself, that's a lot of books to read in January. Let's just see how February goes. And then I read nine books in February and I was like, okay, let's see how March goes. Because I knew, you know, with springtime coming up, all that stuff, like we were going to be busier than normal. And um, so now, middle of March, I upped my goal to 75. So I just had to get that out there, had to throw that out there before I got into my monthly goals. So now to my reading goals for the month of April. Reading is going to be kind of sort of on the back burner and not necessarily the big goal that I'm working towards in April. And I'll get to the reason why in a minute. But my goal for April for reading is to read five books. Now, I know you guys are going to be thinking that's really low compared to the previous months and how well I'm reading in March. But here's the thing. I'm going to be doing Camp Nano in April. And I know that when I write, I like to ignore reading. I like to not pick up a book and read at all and I don't like that about myself when I write. So my goal is to read five books, to get to five books, and I just want to say that I read while I wrote. Um, so I figure five books is super easy. They don't have to be super long books. They don't have to be super intricate books. They just have to be five books. And I am super excited to be at least trying to read while I write in April. Writing, as I just said, I'm going to be doing Camp Nano in April. So basically finishing a novel in Camp Nano, the novel being Project Kiss. Um, it's a project that I've done a writing vlog on before, um, the one that I did Save the Cat on. So I'm going to be trying to finish that novel I've been about half done with this book for a long time. I have not written a single word on this book in March at all. And so when I decided to do Camp Nano, I just decided not to write it all in March. And I feel like giving myself that month distance between February and April is going to like reopen my mind to all these new possibilities to how I want this book to go. So for the first goal for writing is to finish Project Kiss finish it in completion, get the first draft completely done. Second writing goal for April is I want to use Save the Cat again to plot out book two of the series that Project Kiss is in. With that being said, I want to decide if it needs to be the same two characters from Project Kiss or two other characters. And if I choose to do two other characters, what plot line I want it to follow. And I need to basically comb through Project Kiss to make sure I have all the details right for their relationship before I can move on with book two. So I want to get all that done and a fresh Save the Cat plot written and ready for when I decide to write the second book. Last goal for writing wise is I want to plot out a completely different story. Whether it's something that inspires me, whether it's another fan fiction, whether it's um, anything, anything. I just want to plot it out. I want to like toy around with different story ideas. And basically by the end of April, I want to have one finished manuscript and two finished 
plots or beat sheets so that I can, you know, when I decide what project I'm going to work on after, you know, writing Project Kiss. So those are my goals for April. It's going to be really hard to work in April on all this writing and stuff because my daughter's school shut down until the middle of April. And I think, I think at the earliest they said is April 13th. So it's going to be really awkward for me to try to homeschool as well as write and all this other stuff in April. But I'm going to try. It's going to be a really big task. And I want to get out content for you. So I'm going to be doing writing vlogs, plotting vlogs, that kind of thing for you guys throughout April. And I may do a reading vlog or two. I'm not real sure exactly on all the content that's going to come out in April, but I do know that is the plan. Comment down below and tell me what your goals are for April. If you're taking part in Camp NaNoWriMo and if you're not, what are your reading, writing goals, or just overall life goals for the month of April? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, which will be linked down below. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.